Welcome back to the Smite Pro League, powered by Curse Voice Gandhi, joined by High Res Peckies. Pe Peckies? No, I'm a. You see, High Res, Ad High Res Adonis. I see Peckies. Kevin, my, what? Is, One in the same. Guys, what? it is time for North America here. We will have Cognitive taking on Legion. Hey! I wasn't supposed to be on the desk anyway. <laughs> so it's. I'm kidding. I know your name, Pon Pon. Uh, we're getting ready to hit this hard. It's uh, it's going to be Cog versus Legion. This is going to be you know Legion brand new into the SPL. Cognitive Gaming had to battle for their spot. Do you have your picks going into this one? Who did you pick? Actually? I picked Cog mostly because of their their veteranship and 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 we really saw Pog. See, is there picks and bands? Can we just? No, I, I do. Let's just skip every. Let's just I picks don't and understand why you're being angry about this. It's you. You guys are all the same. Reason Gaming, man. One unit. I picked COG. I'm the only person to pick <laughs> COG 2-0 here. I do like Legion here, and I think they have a lot of potential. I just don't think they're going to start with it early. I think they're going to be growing as <laughs> as the spring split goes through here. I just think that cognitive gaming. This will be a good test for Legion, though. A great test. Even if they don't, even if they don't win a game, I I think how competitive it is 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 going to set the pace for them because I think they will improve. I don't know how much COG can improve throughout the season, but I think Legion has a lot of growth potential. Yeah, they, they have a plethora of skill on their team, yes. to say the very least. I mean, DJ Perticus is the guy who we're going to harp on every single time just because of how he's been in the past, yeah. right? I mean, it's just we have to hit that track record, and if he accelerates and he does everything that he's supposed to do, this team could very easily come out on top. I, I think so as well here. And they have a couple of rookies coming on. They have Wellplaid in the soul lane, as well as Panda Cat in the hunter role. Whereas Aduro, their mid laner, and, and Pain Devi on their support have been in the competitive team for quite some time. Yep. Well, it's time to hop into picks and bands here, guys. Make sure you're getting social with us. Tweet it out. Tell all your friends. North American time. Legion will be starting off on the order side, and they will take out Hunbats. No monkey business this game. I don't think that's a directed pick. That's just uh, a pick that they don't want to have to deal with. Likely to pick up... Uh, DJ Pernicus really likes Storin's or Ked, and Humbats oh, really yeah. disrupts their potential coming out there in the mid-game. Sylvana's taken out as well, and one thing we forgot to mention is really... How is Homie Effing going to be doing? They picked up a new jungler coming in due to mask uh, his competitive band, so yep. this is the first time we're going to see Homie F.A. in on the big stage. Yeah. Well, you have you have some experience playing against them as Giannis is going to go ahead and get taken out. They don't want to deal with the global presence. And I just asked you, going into this one, I said, how long until Giannis fans start happening? You go, eh, probably, maybe. It depends. And it's just because of the different ways you can play him. But sure enough, he gets taken out. And now, option over, are they going to take out the Athena? And they're actually going to get rid of the Isis, making sure that there is no strong early game here. That's so this, 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 should be, this should be Athena. Athena's open. Uh, it's also a very... Very versatile god, Sir Cat also. DJ really likes his Sir Cat, but they potentially give up Athena Thor in that regard. It's very strong mid-game dominant gods that Cognitive typically has drafted in the past. One thing I forgot to mention though is it is not well played. It's Salt Machine gonna be picked up, and it will be the Sir it's Salt Machine and Solo yep. instead of Well Plaid. And, and it is Sir Cat picked up going to DJ Pernicus. Yep. DJ Pernicus, he's he's got one of his gods that he loves the most. He, very high mobility. The 0 to 100 potential definitely exists as soon as we hit around the 15 minute mark when she gets Jotun's finished. Uh, she's going to be very lethal, but Bologna and possibly Athena Either here. Either Athena or Thor. I think those are the two picks they're looking at okay. uh, more than likely, but they could leave Thor open. They or they could leave Thor open. They they have that pick for the third if they wish to go but that route. But do, also, do you not think they value Bologna in the jungle role? I mean, I, I think they could. You're right. But it, it's going to be Neath. So more versatility coming out from them. Also a very strong early game presence with Neath. I mean, her clear is damn near second to none here. So option over to Legion. This should give them Athena. Uh, she's by far the strong, one of the strongest supports in the game. And yep. there she is. She's going to go ahead and get locked in here. Uh, we could see a Poseidon as well. And Poseidon, Serket, and Athena have pretty good synergy, especially around the mid harpies. Uh, I mean, Athena taunts into Kraken's Poseidon's ultimate is very, very. And Serket's normally able to pick up kills after that if they're yeah. not dead. Uh, additionally, what Serket allows Athena to do is Serket, while she has crazy escapes, she also has, in that same regards, crazy gap closers, and it will be ah, Agni instead. Just so. as good. A lot of lockdown and setup. Not a strong level 5 uh, at the mid-harpies, but still very potent uh, coming into the mid-game. Mid uh, but Sir Ket is able to close that distance and basically secure the Athena ultimate yeah, defender it, of Olympus. It, it also guarantees them another stun on top of it. I mean, Agni Bomb. I mean, he throws his meter, throws out Noxious Fumes, and then that gives Sir Ket ample time to jump in and just last breath someone and then kick him away. 
So now Cognitive Gaming is going to go ahead and lock in Geb. They're going to have the Stone Shield on their side. So Geb and Neath will be entering into the duo lane here. And now Cognitive will be looking to take out bands. Uh, Legion is looking for a Hunter as well as a Solo Laner. Yep, and I'd like to see Legion here focus on a mid-game ban. Uh, maybe a Poseidon to be banned out here. Uh, they've already targeted Giannis out. I think it would be a, a good idea to also take out Heroine's Poseidon. Those are really his two premier gods. Well, Cupid's going to go ahead and get knocked out there for Cognitive. They don't want to have the guaranteed setup between Cupid and the Athena. And just as sure enough, as you were you were correct, Poseidon, bye bye Those are Heroine's two premier gods. He also has a Vulcan he likes to play. Uh, so we could see that if he's going for more comfort picks. But they have a Geb here. Geb is going to be able to keep him alive. But Vul Vulcan would be a risky pick into Sir Ked. Yeah. Vulcan could really... He's just so slow. He has no mobility. He also has nothing to get away, really, yeah. from enemies. Uh, it is going to be Jablanke locked in. So it's going to be a Neath mid or solo lane, more than likely. Jablanke going to be sitting in that dual lane. But Jablanke, Geb, don't really have the best clear. Yeah. Shablanke most likely will be going into the Hunter role. Uh, he, he's definitely the premier as Rama will get locked in here. Final pick for Legion. Will they go with kind of a safe pick in the support or uh, in the solo role here? Uh, you know, you got to look at the just the Warriors, maybe Tier. Uh, he's, he's super safe to lock in and sure enough, there he is. Tears always. We saw the impact he had in that last set. He's so on, good. On, on, in both games, right? And both teams hand it. It doesn't matter. It's... Very easy, as long as you can make it to the mid-game even, to just be a good tier. You just have to disrupt team fights constantly. And, and, and on top of that, if you have even a little bit of a lead on top of the other enemy team, oh, yeah. they won't have a Magi's Blessing. And, and so that's when he just will shine straight through, and that's going to be a Sobek picked up. So Sobek will be going into the solo lane here. Neath will be mid, Shablanke and Geb will be going into the duo lane, and Bologna will be your jungler here for Cognitive Gaming. Now... Neath versus the Agni. Uh, she, she's going to have clear, but I, she's it's not like she's going to be able to harass him she's, out. Well, here's right? the thing, right? She's going to have clear, but her root's incredibly powerful against Agni. If she can lock him in place, especially in the first couple levels where he's not really going to have the damage, he's, he's going to take a lot of pokes. So facing Neath mid is very volatile because she has clear like other mages do. However, she's going to be doing more damage than you with her base autos. The, that you would typically see sitting in that mid lane. So it's something that really confuses a lot of mid players the first couple times they play against it. Yeah, you have endless experience with playing Neath, right? So do you like the Neath going into the mid? Is this something that you think should be a standard that we're seeing in North America? I don't know about standard, but I think it's a nice pick we see is Meerkat looking for Salt Machine. That is terrifying. Not, he's not going to be fast enough, though. This is just this is just scary. You Meerkat's know. just jumping around. Just, just, just stand fight me, bro. Yeah, well, obviously he's saying that he's got he's got his whole gang with him, right? <laughs> Five versus one. Yeah, th this is fair. Uh, <laughs> DJ Pernicus is just gonna walk out of this one, and some deep wards will be placed, and Cog will just end up going back to their lane here. So as the one thing I'm worried about for Cog's lineup is their lack of burst. They have a lot of strong sustained damage. Bologna, she's not going to 100 to zero you. Neath, not going to 100 to zero you. Jablanke, will 100 to zero you once he gets crit online, but that's 25, 30 minutes into the game. Assuming so all things go according it, to plan. It's just a bunch of, not, I wouldn't say poke, but it's just a bunch of sustained damage. And if Tyr can really just look to survive in these fights, he's going to be hard to lock down for them. Well, Same with Athena. The standard meta here coming out here, as we are seeing the Legion of Cats here, and then DJ Pernicus. He might try to get a little bit cheeky here. They took a different route, and this I is, believe this that... is slow though. This is slow. And on top of this, it actually looks like Cognitive Gaming is actually going for the back camps as well. So, Salt, Mas Salt Machine and DJ Pernicus will be able to steal away this blue buff, putting them ahead just a little bit over Meerkat, who will be entering to lane. They also only used one hog, and that's going to be important. They're going to be able to quickly clear this wave and then rotate and pick up other buffs after that. Yep. They're going to shove this wave all the way up to the tower, be level 2, head back, and then grab that speed can, buff. Can we bring up the XP per minute chart? That's going to be interesting here coming into... Just, le just leave it up for now. It'll be interesting here in about 3... At about the 2 minute mark to see which start really got the better benefit, and I'm assuming Legion's going to be ahead. Uh, Legion... Not, not right now, but yeah. af after all the buffs are taken. But they're actually going to challenge the buff there in the bottom right here. Bologna, Homie FA, not there fast enough. Yep. 
And just like this, as you can start to see it kind of shape up here, Tier is going to be switching up. And now the zigzag of DJ Pernicus will come down and Shield Bash will happen into the Sobek Toss. Bludgeon will be out. It gets interrupted in the middle by the Mez. Great job by DJ Pernicus to stop that from happening. Yep, and Salt Machine here just, uh, Homie F.A. took a lot of poke there, more than he wanted to. DJ looked like he was in a bad spot. He didn't have a second leap available, but just in time. And it is going to be Sir Ket and Tier sitting at the top. Up on his kind of, look at that back and forth. Yeah, just heading in there, Homie F.A. with a 90 second rotation. He will come and help Hurlwind. They will go to their back camps. They will not look to invade. Uh, they are not trying to be greedy. They're just going to play this one super safe. Uh, they know what's on the line here. They want to make a good SPL debut. Every win counts. So we have a, a pretty stalled out hunter lane here. Gab and Jablanke just don't have the clear they need to deal with Pain de Beyond and Panda Cat's clear. So they're, they're going to be playing pretty passive here. And I expect Pain de Beyond to be at these first mid camps uh, and make an impact while Jigs won't be able to. Gab yeah, Shield will come down. Rising Jaguar will get him out of that one as now they will continuously shove this up. And now we're seeing another rotation out of the Neath and the Bologna to take the back camps, as we will now see Aduro and DJ Pernicus do the exact same. So they might lose one or two creeps in the mid lane, but what they lose, they will gain from these back harpies. Something important here is that DJ Pernicus had a delayed speed buff, which means his speed buff is going to be still active on him when Cog spawn. I expect to see DJ and Aduro look to pressure that out, especially if Salt Machine can control Meerkat in the soul lane and have pressure when that four minute timer spawns up. I, I'm fully expecting DJ Pernicus and Salt Machine to go straight into the blue buff at the at the mark and when it spawns up. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they have the timer on it and then you just keep Sobek down. It, that's exactly what you're looking to do. You just don't let him get anything. Additionally, with that, we see Tier rotating here. Uh, and if he does he have Hog up? Yeah, he should be able to secure these just in time. And Meerkat could be in a little bit of trouble here, but he's pretty tanky. He's just going to dash away. DJ Pernicus recognizing he's not going to be able to keep up that chase. What a presence Mark of the Vanguard has made in Season 2. I don't think anyone got that in Season 1. I can't... I, like Not like not nearly the, as not much. Not the yeah. solo lane. It's yeah. really... It's not too... It was picked up on supports a lot, but yeah, since yeah. transitioning back into Watcher's Gift, they just they need the extra gold to warrant it, and it's it, they just need the extra gold, right? You can't really buy it on supports anymore. Yep. Pain to be on uh, level five. He is backing down here as Hurlwind and Homie FA are just crushing. I mean, they're level six at this point as Aduro just finally hit that same with Pain to be on, and Aduro will finish off the last creeps here as we're going to go ahead and take a look here at the solo lane. Now, now the tier versus the Sobek, uh, who, who are you taking in this? I would say... They both kind of bring the similar things to the team fight, but in the lane matchup... In the lane matchup, they're really going to trade out. No one's going to get an advantage unless the other player is putting some, himself in, a, in an awkward spot, I would say, to take free poke. Engage oh. here. It looks like... It was a disengage. Okay. Yeah, it was... It was uh, he saw Mr. Serket come in and he said, well, you know, just going to go ahead and hit my ultimate as homie F.A. is going to be here. And they're going to hit the Scourge on him. Might force out the Wallbringer as he is looking. He gets the Fearless on one and now he's actually going to just be able to walk away. Doesn't have to force out the ultimate. They have the no Assault burst. Machine. He's That's happy. Yeah. Cog has no burst on their team. They're going to have a hard time ganking, especially a tier who has no defensive items. You saw them just not able to do anything. It's, it's going to come down to a lot of coordination from COG when they're going to be able to secure kills. Buff's now going again. This is the second spawn of these. And to my surprise, Sir Ket was not in a position to actually rotate and try to shut down the enemy blue buff as Tyr actually went back as well. So we might see a little bit of an invade from Cognitive Gaming as they will be able to shove this wave up and keep Tyr at his tower. But ev even still, I, I don't know if that'll be the case. Both teams... Playing pretty passive here. DJ just oh. barely off the mark of the taunt. That might have been a, a kill with a Duro waiting in the wings. Oh, God, yeah. Not going to find it, though. That and is such a good chain, too. I mean, just the, the, the meteors stun. into yeah. it, into the mez. It, it is so annoying to deal with. And across the way, it's so early on that you normally don't prioritize beads at this point either, and Neath hasn't. No, she's gone the Heartseeker route. 20 stacks already. She's really going to start to hit a Duro if he's out of position here. DJ Pernicus and both teams just continuing to play passive. We see minor gank attempts. We saw Bologna here try and deal with Tier in the solo lane. Meanwhile, we saw DJ Pernicus rotate to that duel lane looking for Jablanke, but both both teams not able to find anything 
Experience definitely definitely favors the side of cognitive gaming so far, with the exception of Tier, who who leads everyone. But minus that, I mean, Cog is just doing an exceptional job. Bologna is steadily having one level over the circuit. Yeah, and it, but it's a slight lead. It's not too yeah. big. DJ's been, it seems, roaming a little bit more, trying to make things work. And that's what you'd like to do as Sir Cat, is you like to set stuff up early. This could be a big fight, though. This is huge. Bomb one, two. Will they be, have the burst for it? The Geb Shield's going to oh. keep him alive. Aduro, don't chase, buddy. You see Eagles rally down. Just give that one up. As now Salt Machine will come here. He's going to juggle the Sobek. But Sobek, he, he's a crocodile. It's really hard to cut through him. Is he a, was, yeah, he's crocodile a crocodile. Of the Nile. The don't start this with me. Pretty sure Wikipedia says it, but I mean, anyone could edit Wikipedia. Meerkat just going to dash out of time of the Agni Bomb here, and the fight's going to keep up on a draw. Oh. He's going to dash out. This could be a good fight for Cognitive Gaming if they can wow. find it. Homie FA, though, too low to keep it up. Going to have to back off. Thought Machine not wanting to continue the engagement as well with their jungler. Which DJ is really the low. story of this game is Cog versus Legion, right? Is Cog has, has to stay in these team fights, and they're not tanky enough to get their damage down. They're going to get they're going to get bursted out. I know it's they they will scale better in the late game, especially once Bologna gets her defensive items online. You can already see her starting that hammer. That's more than likely. It's either going to be rune forged or frostbound. I'd like to think it's going to be frostbound. Yeah, it, that seems to be the standard. I mean, it's 350 health plus a slow. It's it's everything a Bologna wants. And so, then you can so go right can into build. the Ickable. I, th I think we can build that. I think he doesn't he do Ickable first. Maybe. I'm not sure. Bring the wall down on him, bro. Nah, he's not, oh, not going to risk it. I would have risked it. He didn't have any combo potential after his dash was down. If his dash was up, I would say maybe he can go for it. His mana was also low. He yeah. risked getting plucked. I don't think he would have died, but he didn't have vision on Bologna at the time, so not worth the risk for him. DJ Pernicus going to go ahead and leash this out so far. It has been a very passive game in, a, in its own way since there hasn't been any kills at 8 minutes, which has really been not the standard that we've seen so far in this summer split. It's been all about just constant engagements, almost a kill per minute. Even Europe has been picking right? up the pace. Right. No more 20-minute first bloods, thank God. Right, yeah. May, may that be a thing that rests in peace forever. Uh, the Neath is going to be just off the mark there with the Duro. He's got pain to be on to his left as he body blocks him just a little bit. And now he will just try to bait himself out. But I'm assuming they know something's afoot. DJ Pernicus still going for this same kind of setup where he just waits by the mid-harpies and then trying to jump in and just... Hit someone with the mez. I mean, that's that's something we don't see Sir Kets use too often, is their stealth to try and bait out someone just yeah. sitting in a lane. And I think it's something that players could look into doing more. And we really saw it with Epsilon, how they utilized Giannis in an offensive and utility manner, constantly having their players dive. And then Giannis wasn't diving with them. He would just sit there, portal, wait for them to get out afterwards. Big talk coming out for Payne Devian to Duro, though. No follow-up. Just off the mark. The, the other reason why DJ Pernicus, well, Salt Machine blinks in, the beads come out, they're perfect, and they're not able to hit the chain. But another reason why this Cirquette is able to do this was, at the time, everything on the map was down. Yes. She was only benefiting from being in the lane. So now, since the buffs are trying to come up, you're going to see her just, just kind of rotate around and then worry about that because she has to. That's her job. Mm -hmm. And she has to soak up all this experience as we have a little bit of a Gold Fury dance. Is Panda Cat... Will started up, and this is really just to see if anyone rotates to see if they have vision on. I uh, yes, it's uh, it's one of the mind games you see at higher levels of play, much like mid to rotate out of the lane, but they don't really rotate. They just sit around corners, making sure that the enemy is forced to call stuffs. But we have a gank on Salt Machine. His ult is actually going to immune the Neath ult just in Man. time. And Homie Fa off the mark. That's three ults used for Cog. This might be a small window that Legion has to fight. Well, they got both mid harpies here, so that's always a plus. The taunt will hit as well. Aduro trying to push forward. Geb shield. Look at that. Hurlwind will be able to make it out again. God, Geb is just one of the most infuriating. In comes Cataclysm, and then here comes a dash to get him out. Scourge will hit, but they have no follow-up here. Shield Bass, they're trying to push forward, and now Rama will deter this fight from the skies as he was trying to do everything he could, and that is five people rotating into the mid lane to try to pick up a kill, Every but they fall short. down. Every single all down outside of Athena is there. Both these teams and Agni. His his his, his <laughs> twenty second bomb just came up. Scott, <laughs> calm down. But both these players or both these teams are, are rotating very hard to try and stop the other here. And famous hate. He's going to recognize this gold fury. And Jigs is going to come in, but I don't think he can get there in time. There's no way. This is, this is going to Legion, and Legion says, "Well, we got this. Let's get out." Great they, timing. They had a chance to take out famous hate if they really wanted to hit the taunt from Pain to Beyond onto him, but. 
I think they're just happy with the increase of experience in gold. 2k gold lead, which means they already had a 500 gold lead there. Uh, most likely off just grabbing an extra set of mid harpies here or there. And Legion starting to pull away, but I, this, I mean, it's not really away. They're still dead even, to be honest. Like an active or two. Yeah, for sure. Swinging into the solo lane. Salt Machine just chipping away with his huge sword and his one hand that he has. And he's just going to try to stop the back, which is big. I mean, Meerkat, he's got very low mana and he has no problem. He's just going to try to taunt him and he actually gets him to stop there as well. That is, that is a huge win for Salt. And he also has no mana, so he tier could potentially look to rotate in the mid. No, he's going to like to stay here and, and farm up. And he's just going to try and poke out Meerkat into the tower there. there he's going to take some damage, but... He's got the pluck available, so no, he does have an escape. No oh, mana. no. Yeah, there's no mana. So Salt Machine going to try to chase him down, but... Yeah, just, I just don't see it. There's just no way. It's just the Vanguard, and additionally, he's started up a Mystical Mail, so I think 100 health and 20 physical protection coming out from that mm -hmm. Tier 1. No, just 20 physical protection, but enough to not let Tier do anything. Yeah. Press plate will finish here, Famous 8. Find the snipes. One, and two, and Third will kill. don't overthink it! He overthought it. That's the hardest part about Rom. You just gotta let him fly. I, I don't know about that. Scott. I know, I'm just making stuff up <laughs> as I go. <laughs> <laughs> so Panda Cat not able to find the snipes he needed. He... he even if he hit the first knife there, I think he would have had enough health. Uh, Rom's Astral Barrage, each hit does more damage. You also see the targeter gets smaller, so it gets harder to hit with each It's also hit. infinitely harder to hit online than it is on land. Because of latency. Yes, of course. Come on, bro. Didn't, didn't they teach you that? I, I knew that. I just You didn't know that. You had to bring up that point. I was agreeing. <laughs> Mid camp's about to spawn. Yes, we'll see if are. Legion could continue to control them. Um, it looks like Cog just backed their jungler and their mid, so maybe some more missed timings coming out from Cog. We saw them back just as... This is good for them. Yeah, we, we saw Cog back in unison there, and Legion was able to sneak the Gold Fury. Once again, their mid and jungler are going to back just as mid-camp spawn. Meerkat trying to prevent Salt Machine, but Salt Machine has two levels on Meerkat. Been good Ooh. job on out-farming him. Well, Salt Machine's going to go ahead and juggle the Sobek in. In comes a Blink Cataclysm as well. Eagle's Rally is there. The taunt's going to hit, slowing it down lurking in the water will help as sir Ket will get out of there and then the lurking in no the water dead? i have no idea that's been three really strong engages players sitting at 10 percent, 20 percent, and lower but no one able to find the kill i understand with cog right they don't have the burst they have a neath in mid they don't have a kraken or yeah. agni bombs but i i've been expecting legion to find kills but really jigs has been on point with the shields and he's there for every single fight yeah and geb shield it's 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 also can put the enemy team on tilt because there's so many times where people get away with such low health that you're like, God, Gab, I hate you. And the, any of those little advantages definitely are going to help. And we you know we're we're getting close to 14 minutes here with not a kill. Let me find out that North America is the new Europe. Let me find out. It's 20 minute first play for Sobek. So he went the power boots and now going breastplate for cooldown. Sobek who doesn't have a ton of you know burst damage like we've been talking nope. about. But wants to get off multiple plucks in team fights, repositioning players. So that's that's very important to get cooldown online before the big team fights start happening. And next should be the E staff, right? Likely. That's what we've typically been seeing here. Salt Machine gets plucked in the tower. He doesn't care though. He's still gonna fight Meerkat there. But take about Ooh. half his life and poke. He should be able to heal it up though, right after. Yeah, I mean he's he's not exactly a tanky tier right now. Right, he he's got a Jotuns. He he elected in going into that because he knew he he needed the physical pen and plus hell, you like the extra mana that it gives you too. So he he's not really as tanky as he thinks. Sir Cat just electing the farm here now. Might be looking to put some pressure, but should walk right over that ward in left lane. Yep, gonna walk right over it. And we see Panda Cat just trying to uh. stop Famous Hate. Not in time though. Famous gonna get his back off. But Legion looking to be aggressive here with that player back. Adero now trying to scout out everything he can in the jungle, and he's just not finding it. So now he knows he can't use his dash to clear it out, and he's just going to wait for the last second to where he's going to be safe. He didn't want to do it at the beginning, or else they would have definitely engaged on him. Cataclysm is up, as well as Blink. So uh, Geb right now definitely very, very lethal. Legion, once again, slowly extending their lead. Nothing notable, but about an extra 500 gold since they've taken that gold fury. They're sitting about a 2,500 gold lead. So they're taking these small advantages. A lot of it's coming into the solo lane as well. Uh, Meerkat, two levels behind Salt Machine, it seems, all game. Sir Cat takes some poke, and now she will retreat and hide underneath the Tier 1. Legion, 
we haven't seen a kill, but they've been able to establish this great lead, and it really all comes down to snaking that Gold Fury as well as Cognitive collectively backing to save these, or try to come back and fight these mid-harpies, but they're just a second too late for them. Gold Fury up again. Mid-camps as well. This could be a determining fight if anyone elects to start it up here. Once again, Legion in line for these mid-camps. Bologna not able to steal it away in time. Right, are about to spawn. Salt Machine's not in position, but Cog is rotating to it. Cog actually won this fight last time. Wasn't able to secure any kills. We'll see if this is going to be differently in, in Legion's favor. Four lined up. Yep, smart job by DJ Pernikis going to the far right. He's going to get spotted out there by Hurlwind. Bomb comes down. Meerkat's going to get stunned out. That's not the target they want. They see the Bologna as well. Meteor's coming down. Same with the Darkest of Nights. The Taunt's going to hit three. Cataclysm will hit two. And now Aduro still firing down from all sides. Pain to Beyond's going to get tossed. He's going to be able to make it around. Eagle's Rally comes crashing down. The Flames will be there, and it's going to stop this fight entirely. Last breath thrown down onto the Sobek. He's going to tail whip. He's going to try to live in a... That's going to do it. He will make it out of there alive. Ta like a one five on five with everything dumped. Great counter engages from both teams once again. Like we've seen really all game. Geb, fantastic job. Geb is always there. Every yeah, single Jigs fight. Is, Jigs, Jigs has been a premier alive. support for a while now. He, he's done a fantastic job adjusting into everything, uh, getting used to the SPL and everything. Uh, I always thought he was a high level player even in split one. But Adura will go back here as Panda Cat. Will retreat underneath his tower here. Uh, as we take a look at it, he has elected to go into Dev Gloves as well as Ikaful. And same with the Rama. Gold Fury being surrounded by Cog there, but they're going to see Athena waiting, and they're just going to back off of that one. This like this line that Cog creates here from the middle, like just, just mid, right? Yeah. It seems that there's three mid all game. Hurwind actually level 13 below his jungler, and Aduro two levels ahead, so Cog, th they're always together, but... They're inefficiently splitting waves, it seems, and that's really where that gold and experience lead is coming from, outside of the Gold Fury. Well, look at this experience per minute out of tier. I mean, he, he's at 700, still at 18 minutes. He is, he is getting involved very, very much, and then behind that's going to be the Rama. Yeah, and Neath at the bottom there. Jig's Whoa. gonna blink in. This could be a fight that we could see. Salt Machine incredibly low. Gonna get plucked back. Is the kill oh gonna God. come? Meerkat, first blood. 18 minutes in. Not gonna beat Europe's record, but pretty close. Yep. 18-14 to be exact, boys. Chalk it up. Second longest first blood ever. Cognitive Gaming now. They win the first pick, and now they will look to start up the Gold Fury here. Hurlwind is gonna be on the side where he's gonna try to zone them out. He's got the Sobek with him as well. Pain to be on charging up. They know it's on there, and a little bit oh, of cheekiness. Great, great job out of Heroin to shoot him right through the wall, and now that's going to first him all the way back. So DJ Pernikis plays exactly like Lassus does from Season 1, I think. Really likes to sneak around to the back, steal camps, and look to be aggressive, but not start the fights. Look to find the players that are weak and pick them off in the back, and you see that. Gold Fury started up, and he's stealing attack speed buff while it's there. It's about half-life. Can he make a big play? Well, the Mez is going to hit onto him as well. Forcing him out. He's going to chase down one. Middle of the screen, though. Pain to be on. He's around all members, and the Astral Arrow is just shredding through Homie F.A. As now DJ Pernikus, he's going to get hit by the Neath Arrow. The follow-up, he's just going to jump away. He hits the Mez as well. Panda Cat, he's in the boxing match. He's got a Crocodile in front of him. Homie F.A.'s there. All on the Eagles rally as Panda Cat pushes forward. Oh. Aduro is able to get that one. Athena comes crashing down. Geb Shield will be there. And now they will continue to push forward. Athena, she's got the taunt. She's got to go for it. She connects with two. In comes DJ Pernikus as well. Salt Machine cleans that one up. And now Neath finds herself in the mid. And it looks like Salt Machine's going to hit the juggle. Will he have the final bit? And he does. Yep, that's going to be a double kill for Salt Machine. He got picked before the Gold Fury was started. Able to rotate back in. And once again, tier so disruptive in this team fight. It's Jigs. Can he find the steal? Not in time. Legion times their fogs together. And they're going to secure it there. Just disengaged, but great team play. Really, I want to I want to highlight Pandavion in that fight. Yeah, he took a lot of damage, and you saw him at these mid camps. DJ Pernikus incredibly low. Three players surrounding him. He held his taunt. The second it looked like Cog was going to go and engage, he taunts out the players, and DJ's able to escape. DJ's also able to come back in later. It makes some 
big impact into that team fight. Because of the Gold Fury now, Athena will have Heartward Amulet over top of the Geb, who just has the Sovereignty. Now, I'm assuming Jigs has a decent amount of gold in hand, seeing since he's only about 600, 400 gold behind the Athena. So he should be relatively close to it. Yeah, let's take a look at gold in hand if we can. Yeah, it's about yep. 2,000. So Jigs hasn't been able to back any time recently. Going to be looking to start up Heartward or some utility item potentially here. Salt Machine, though... Finishing Spirit's Robe, he's going to be harder to lock down than he already was. And three levels above Meerkat, Meerkat's just tickling him at this is point. Is he going to go into a Titan's Bane with that mace, or is he going to go... Titan's Bane. Yeah, yeah. I, I, mean, I didn't think he was going to go any anti-healing. Uh, I don't think that's really necessary. I mean, the this. other options there are Crusher. Or excuse me, that's... Yeah, no, Crusher's yeah, on the tree. It's, it's Crusher. And then... Uh, and, uh, Brawler's Beat Stick. The Beat but, Stick. But neither really seems that he'll get much yeah, use likely. out of that. Yeah, he has enough pen. Uh, down the way, Agni clearly going to start right into the Spear of the Magus, and then the Kronos Pendant. Spear of the Magus synergizes perfectly with Mr. Agni. We also see a blink coming out from Tyr, so uh, Salt Machine's just really been everywhere without the teleport, which is kind of what we see play we see coming out of Cyclone Spin. He knows that he's going to be rotating a lot, does rotate, and his team looks to fight with him, right? Legion's not just like, all right, you rotated. Guys, I have no teleport. We have to engage, and, and yeah. Legion does do that. Now, Cognitive, the one thing they have going for him is that they have an insanely tanky team. Frostbound Hammer, Ikavo on Bologna. Now she's going to be hard to lock down. E-Staff on top of the Breastplate is even worse for the Sobek. And then the Geb will soon have the Heartward Amulet as well. So they, they have the frontline presence they want, but for me, the question is, is what's Neath going to do? Sir Ket actually getting a little spotted out there, and that's the thing. What's Neath going to do? She really... You really need to utilize World Weaver early on, and they got no use out of it. Actually, none. They looked for a couple engages, a couple fights trying to pick off Salt Machine, but not able to make anything work until, really, that 18-minute mark. And even then, they lost the team fight immediately afterwards. A four-man grouping into the mid lane here is Cognitive Gaming. They love bunching up and just working as a unit. They've decided that, well, laning phase is over. Let's just group up and try to push out from here as... Meanwhile, Panda Cat has no problem just sitting in lane, looking at Famous Eight across the way, hitting an emoji, and then, you know, just farming up. Yeah, I mean, you're just going to evenly farm. Both of these players are late-game hunters. Uh, but Famous Hate going to have a little bit more poke here coming out with Poison Darts. Once Crit starts coming online, Panda Cat should be able to out-trade him. Uh, or it, it would be incredibly close. Blink it oh. by Jigs here. That's a Cataclysm followed up. Bludgeon's going to be off the mark, and DJ Pernicus is going to get out. Meteor's crashing down. Homie FA has the Geb Shield on him, making him even more tanky. Aduro forced out to the beads, and now Athena will be coming down as Aduro will slow it down just a bit as he waits on Pain de Vion to assist him. All the while, Tier is all the way up at the Tier 2, meaning Sobek is forced to rotate all the way back. The experience lead is just growing here for Mr. Salt Machine. He's level 20 across the way is a Sobek at level 17. Yep, and that's the lack of teleport there. It looks like that tier 2 is going to fall. It's pretty close. No, it's going to just barely One more live. Wave. Yep, Salt Machine's going to have to back off there, but with no teleport, if you commit as a solo laner and don't find what you need, then you just get even further behind, and Salt Machine able to pressure that tier 2 incredibly low. And meanwhile, Cog not able to find anything off the engage. They just don't have the burst, like I've been saying, all game. They have no one that's going to burst players on Legion. Tier, I mean, that Jotuns, it makes him just hurt. And now he's just going to go straight into the mid lane. Lawbringer comes crashing down. He wants the Neath, but he'll settle for anyone at this point. And he's just going to end up whacking the Geb and waiting on his team to assist him. As you're just going to see Pain de Vion, he's going to port back. But he's got Defender of the Olympus coming off the respawn. So if anything crazy does happen, he'll just port onto someone. Perfect knockup by Jigs there. You saw the Salt Machine looking to keep up the engage on Heroin, but the knockup preventing Salt Machine to being able to use Fearless. He's going to have to back off there as Heroin repositioned himself after getting slowed by Fearless. And it's... I'm trying to figure out what Cog's going to be able to do, right? It's not like they're so far behind, but the later this game goes, the tankier Tier's going to be, the harder it is to kill him. Same with Athena. And, and really, these supports have been the highlights, I think, of both teams so far as Panda Cat pulls this Gold Fury and Cog. They might be a little slow to this. Yeah. And it's right at about three quarters, getting close to 50%. DJ Pernicus trying to zone him out. Now everyone's going to be bursting. Zoning duty is on Aduro. Pain de Vion's going to miss the taunt. Now the one thing that just stood out to me here is that there was a spirit robe getting picked up on the side of Cognitive Gaming for Bologna. 
instead of the Magi's blessing when going against a tier. Is this the right call? This is, oh, Panicat, before we get into that, he's going to be blind here. Can he find the snipe, though? He has three shots. He doesn't know where he's at. He's hidden. Oh, he just saw the dash, and he wow. finds the last hit, able to snipe out Famous Hate there. Honestly, if, if he stayed hidden, he might have been safe. Yeah, possibly. So, is the Spirit Rub the right call? I think so. There, there's a there's a lot of control coming out from Legion, and this is the build that Weekend has since made famous. There's something very similar to this, and I think he the only thing different is he has Mystical Mail in this as well. I think he buys it before Spirit's Robe. And there's a lot of CC. It's a good protection. There's no health on it, but it's going to keep you alive even longer with Eagle's Rally. It's it's hard to kill you. Taunt's going to be off the mark. Off. They force the backflip, though. Fearless Blink is just going to be off the mark as Salt Machine will get poked out just a bit. But he's here, so he'll be able to switch stance and heal this up relatively easily as he's going to be looking on the red buff. Pain to be on. It's his job to zone this one out and try to force the good team fight here. They're all in a good spot. Cog really I mean, doesn't want to fight here. That's setting up for a four-man taunt. I talk about slow bleeds in games, but this is... There is five kills on the board and a 10,000... Gold lead by Legion. Yeah. They've gotten three gold furies, basically uncontested, and only found kills in the first one. So since then, there's been two gold furies where actually nothing has happened. Yeah, they've just gotten them for free. I mean, there was about five kills between 18 to 20 minutes, and since then, there's just been a lull. And Cog at oh. this point, just trying to farm up as best they can, because now they've really missed the mark where they're going to be able to fight evenly. I love this pickup by the Agni to grab the Soul Reaver, which is going to be able to proc on anyone he wants. It's going to help take down the Sobek and the Geb, but it also is going to do a great amount of damage to the Bologna as well. And then looking at it, mid-Guardian male finished up for tier. Like, who who's going to kill him? It, no one. I don't think he can die at this point. I mean, he, he, can. he would have he to like, really he would have misplay. To misplay, or Cog would have to basically focus the other te the rest of the team, and he's the last one out because there are squishy targets like Agni, like Serket, that they're going to be able to kill, but it's whether they can get to them and lock them down. And right now, Pain Devian is doing a fantastic job of protecting them and allowing Tyr to be the, the initiator, it seems, into fights. It and helps that Pain, D Pain Devian is the protector. It helps that DJ Pernicus is this sneaky little cat who's just always lo lo lurking. Look at him. He's going to be coming on the backside. The Mez is going to hit. He's on Hurlwind, and there's no get present. The Hurlwind's in a lot of trouble here, and down he goes. Panicat clears that one up. The Tail Whip trying to disrupt everything. Everything. The Eagles rally as well. And now Aduro, he's forced into the Aegis as now Pandacat will try to run away. Aduro still fighting on that. Bludgeon's going to take him out. Geb's forced all the way out. Salt Machine with the juggle. He's now looking at three. Pain Devion waiting for the taunt. It's coming off and now he's going to ult in right onto Salt Machine. Who's he going to go for? He's going to be on the backside. The taunt's going to hit. And now Salt Machine is online here. Famous Hate takes out one, trying to find the next one. And now Salt Machine will take him out as well. He is just a beast. Three for three trade out. Good trade for Cog here. The more even you go in these team fights, that's good. But look at Salt Machine, full life. They're not being able to lock him down at all. But you saw extended engagements is what Cog needs. They're so tanky. They don't have the uh -huh. burst. But the longer the fight goes on, the more likely they're going to come out with an even or positive trade for them. And does their play style reflect that, though? So far from what we've seen. Right. In that last fight, right? It was yeah. an extended engagement where Legion, although they have the burst, weren't able to find the kills they needed instantly. One big thing, though, is Heroin is having no impact on this game, and it's really not to his effect here. But taking a look at player damage, he's uh, he's actually pretty high up there for his team, but I think that's mostly Poke, I mean, right? hell, look at this Sir Cat. I mean, DJ Pernicus is below Geb. At this point. I mean, he's not finding any ganks, right? He's, he, not, he's he like a Loki. He wasn't able to find anything, he, yeah. He's like a Loki. He's not doing any damage until fights break out. And there's been two fights, to be fair. The rest of these players are very poke-oriented. Panda Cat, the silent killer, has managed to find himself up at the second highest on the player damage chart. He's 2-1-2. and two. Sprint 3, Beads 3, Rage is done. Next, we'll be selling off this Bluestone Pendant and getting himself a Deathbringer. And then, it's Crit City, boys. That's... Gonna, he's going to start chunking really hard here. And having that rage online, whereas Famous Hate doesn't, that's going to play a big part in this next team fight. Because if you get a crit or two on the other hunter or on a squishy, they're, they're as good as dead unless they have some good peel. Taking a look at net worth, and I was talking about this earlier, really inefficient farming by Cog all game. Herwind has had two players in his lane all game. And I mean, I don't know if that's to protect him or what, but he hasn't been able to get any farm that he needs to be relevant. 
Taunt's going to hit down on Heroin as well. Two, six. Oh, no, no, no. That was the Gold Fury crits. Oh. But the, the, it'll still happen here on DJ Pernicus. I thought he just crit him for 604. I was like, oh, God, DJ Pernicus, you monster. Uh, the vision battle will start coming out. Assault Machine will clear up one. Aduro's here for the rotation. This is going to be a five on four. They have the power play. It's just whether or not they want to force the issue on the Mez or not. The Mez will go on the Jigs. And now Salt Machine, he's just going to try to just throw down some damage. Keb's going to Geb shield himself there. As now Aduro will just rain down some bombs, forcing out Famous Hate. Yeah, we saw Cog there as that Gold Fury was being started by Legion try and sneak the Fire Giant, but not able to find that mark. Meanwhile, DJ Pernick is continuing to be just this annoyance, this really just like... Just bother uh, that Cog can't deal with. He's so sneaky. He's able to get around team fights, and right there sneaks a tier two. Yeah, but what he hasn't done in team fights, he's definitely done in annoying the enemy team. Famous Hate has the Geb Shield. In comes DJ Pernicus now. Cataclysms will hit as well. And Salt Machine waiting. He's going to be on the backside. He might go in on the Sobek. Eagles Rally is going to be there as well. And DJ Pernicus able to take out one. He's able to get out as well. And now they're going to look for it. Salt Machine has no mana as he will now turn and low straight for the Fire Giant. Yep, DJ Pernicus is going to be forced to back there too low to keep this up. Below, and it looks like she's going to try to contest, but with no alt and about 20% life, it's going to be hard for her to get in here. And it looks like Legion was a little bit scared here. They're waiting to find the rotation off. Now they're going to pull Gold Fury. Famous Hate, though, coming in strong. Panda Cat, he's going to have to know when to give this up. And he's just, they can't fight this right now. They don't want to. That's a, that is a potential throw. Famous Hate now is going to start it up. Jigs is lingering on the backside as the Fire Giant is now. Lost maybe Neither a team quarter. is in a strong spot to try it, to, to look to get it here. And so they're just both going to have to back off. Salt Machine, though, all five fresh here for Legion. They can also they need it? they also need to make sure, and by they I mean Legion, also needs to make sure they can pop Jigs' Magi's Blessing before they start up this Fire Giant. That's going to be imperative for them. Or at least get him in combat so he can't blink in. Yep. Fearless is going to hit Meteor Bombs as well. And just like that, Eagle's Rally does nothing. He just gets crushed. But once again, Legion on and off this Fire Giant. They can't find an opportunity. They're starting it, though, and it looks like the rest of COG is backing Look off Look at here. Salt Machine. Yeah, Salt Machine's just... He, they're what, not he, backing off. They're getting forced out by one guy with a mid-guardian male. World Reaver will help him out as well. Athena Ultimate, he's going to come down lurking on the, the water. And oh my god, he was able to do it. And because of that, Crocodile will be turned into a nice pair of boots. As we will see Legion continue to push on down. Pain to be on doing all of the things here. He is leading this charge. He's got his troops behind him, and now they will focus down this Phoenix. No minions, no problem. They got a fire giant buff. They're going to be pressuring this Phoenix. This is going to go down for free. Cog does not want to fight this here. Meanwhile, Salt Machine, great decision making, going to split. He's going to grab this mid tower and hold me FA down for five more seconds. Are they going to look for this mid Phoenix? I, I think they're going to try it here. Two players down, four Cognitive Gaming, Pain Ooh. to be on. Taunting out the Magi's Blessing. Can they find it? And now, Agni. He's going to be raining down havoc in the backside as DJ Pernicus slithers his way out of this one. Homie F.A. trying to hit the bludgeon. Isn't able to do so as you can just see Panda Cat just poking him away. But Phoenix will go down. And now they are continuing this assault. Five seconds until Meerkat's going to be there. He did not have enough to finish his Magi's Blessing either. And as you can see right there, I mean, DJ Pernicus... He'll be able to go back, and he, he probably just needs a little bit more farm, but he, he's already starting with another dagger in, in the crit side of things. I mean, he... He's going to go for Malice, get that get that dot yeah, damage on his crits yeah. as well. It, it's just going to be so hard. Can we take a look at Golden Hand before these players back? Yeah, 3k there for Rom before he back. That's going to be a full Deathbringer brought straight up, and now he's going to be critting for about six to 700, especially with that Fire Giant buff. It's going to be hard for Cog to deal with this, and they're going to have to look to find, I think, Agni and Sir Ket, but they haven't been able to lock down DJ Pernicus at all. Agni is sitting on 3,300 gold. Tahuti's happening, but what's shocking to me is this hide of the Nemean Lion coming out of Athena. What a player. Just I mean, trying to reflect all of the things. There's two auto attackers in Neath and Jablanke, and those are really the targets that are doing the high amounts of damage this late in the game. It's also the ones who he wants to get to. Yes. Bologna also, while she is ability based, has a has a, a kind of a, a variety build that is yeah, auto yeah. attack and ability based there. 
Well, here we go. Legion, their SPL debut. It is time to see whether or not they what's, will be able to end this. What's their gold lead here? Can we take a look at the charts before this last it's called push? Math, bro. Twenty thousand with fifteen kills on the board. Yeah. They they just bled out. Cognitive Gaming. They gave up four gold furies and two were completely uncontested. Taunt comes down as well. Pain to beyond. He still has his magi's as well. Jigs comes in. Cataclysm hits one. Eagles Rally is going to be down. Aduro is going to be dropping the bombs. The Aegis was beautiful. Panda Cat takes to the sky. One, two, three. Is just off the mark. And now Sobek runs right into the Salt Machine, who is just going to switch stanches, clean him up. Two members alive here for Cognitive Gaming as Legion is still trying to push through. Defender of the Lipids comes down, and just like that, Legion takes this game number one. That's how you come out. Legion of Carrots, by the way. Yes, L -O -C. Legion of Carrots. It, it was Legion at first, but they Lock. they since name changed. Lock, all right. I can get behind Lock. that. Lock. But great play coming out from Legion. Slow bleed. Cog just didn't seem to know how to respond or act more than anything. You saw Arrowind there. Lowest farm in the game. Had Jigs and Homie Efe in his lane all game doing nothing. Why was that? They were scared for him, or they were just trying to counteract DJ trying to get done what he normally gets done, but really, DJ didn't even have to do anything. They were it, it seemed like they were so scared of what Legion was looking to do that they just pigeonholed themselves into inefficient farm. Yep. Well, it was a it was a long game here so far in season two, and it was an 18 minute and 14 second first blood as we go ahead and bring up that replay for you guys here. It was definitely, machine. definitely slow. Salt Machine actually gets picked here, and this was really the game breaker. And then Cog tried the Gold Fury right after this, but Legion doing a fantastic job of keeping them off. And the fight lasted so long that Salt Machine was actually able to spawn, come back into the fight, pick up a double kill on the end. Legion got four kills and the Gold Fury, and about a 3k gold lead, and just increased from there. Do you think we're going to see a similar play style in this game number two of this super passive and I, then people just not able to finish it? It really, at the beginning, I mean, there was a bunch of engagements where we were like, how in the hell did they not die there? And it just seems like they were just missing the beat just a little bit. Is that going to be the case? I think Heroin is going to draft a mage, a burst mage. The Neath just wasn't working out for them. They weren't utilizing it at all, and come late game, he was so far behind. Uh, but we do have map control graph coming up here. Let's see who is really controlling the pace of this game, and no surprise. Shocker. Legion, mid camps five secured by Cog. So they were, even though they had all those players in mid, they were, they were still scared to yeah. fight. I mean, four for four gold furies and two. The first one was just snaked from Cognitive Gaming. And then uh, to go back even on the mid camps, it's 87% at the 6-minute mark and the 9-minute mark, or 9 and 12. I forget which one it was, but it, Cognitive Gaming all backed at like, the same time. And Legion was just like, oh, this is Yeah, that was, that was the first Gold Fury when no kills happened. Yeah. I, be I believe it was like the 12-minute the mark. Yeah, but it was just, why? It was just, they seemed scared. They seemed scared to try and defend the fact that they were a pretty solid team that just could only find one win. But yep. Legion looking pretty strong there. Now, Salt Machine will obviously be your player of the game here. We're starting to see a running trend of tears in the solo lane can do a lot. Everything. And, you know, we saw Cog early try and pressure him, not able to uh. do anything. And he just, this slam dunk. was just fantastic play from him. And he was just all over. He yeah. was out farming Meerkat and not in the lane half the game. He even hit a weave there and still was just like, well, you know, he's going to die anyways. I'm just, I'm just going to do everything. And then the juggle effect. I mean, Tyr was in such a great position in these team fights that he's just soft serving his opponents to his teammates. It's beautiful. It was it was fantastic. You see him 6-1-5. and five. I believe there was 13 huh. kills in that game. So he was a part of uh, most, if not all of them. Yeah. Now, going into this game number two, do you think Cognitive bans out Cirquet, or do you think they let him have him again? No, I, I, I think they let him have him again. The Cirquet was no factor. It was really them being... It was. I think it was Cog's play style more than any individual player on Legion of Carrots. Like, they all played good. They all played great, yeah. actually. I think Payne Debian played a fantastic game as well, really playing the protector role, allowing Salt Machine to run through and be the initiator and zoner. But... It's going to be interesting. I think we're going to see a, a, a burst mage coming out of her win this time to look to change the pace of the game.